this, in my judgment, will spawn a revolution in law enforcement, not just here in Massachusetts, uh, but all over the country. Uh, clearly, it is the future. Uh, I was part of a group that formed a caucus within the House of Representatives to deal with the issue of missing and exploited children. When this technology was brought to my attention, uh, it was clear uh, that here was an answer. It is going to make a difference in terms of public safety. What we're talking about here isn't just one system, but actually four that are part of this grant. Uh, one of them, the Child Project and the Senior Safety Net, are utilized for community outreach and safety programs that we would have uh, with the law-abiding public. And then the other two that we have here are the uh, IRIS system, or the Inmate Recognition and Identification System, and the SORIS system, or the Sex Offender Registry and Identification System, which are the portions of this grant that are utilized for the non-law-abiding uh, portions of the population. And particularly what I like about this program is it's not just Sheriff McDonald and myself, uh, this is national, so sheriff's departments through the National Sheriff's Association uh, will be receiving this equipment across the country, which uh, certainly enhances the ability to build up this database quickly. Uh, you know, whether we're going to use the system for the uh, child uh, project, or whether we're going to use it for uh, inmates or sex offenders or missing seniors, uh, you know, the database will, will grow quickly because of the amount of people we've, uh, uh, we have involved in it as a result of the work by the NSA and uh, Congressman, uh, like Congressman Delahunt uh, across the country. Uh, in Boston, we are going to use this for inmate recognition. Uh, we have a system uh, we're already involved with the child project, uh, so we're going to use this for inmate booking. And uh, you know, I, I was telling the sheriff earlier that uh, you know, not too long ago, uh, the correction officers knew everybody who came to our jail uh, because it was a it was a fairly small community. Well, those days are long gone, and now we don't know everybody that comes through the jail. So, uh, you know, most importantly for releases. If someone's getting released now, all we have to do is have them take a look inside this equipment and it will tell us uh, who they are and hopefully it's the same name as the person we're about to release and if it isn't, uh, we were able to catch that before it happens. So our plan is to use the machine that we're getting at our booking desk so that not only will everybody that's gone through the House of Correction be scanned into the system, but everything, everybody that comes through the booking desk from the, the rest process in the city of Brockton will also be scanned in. And collaborating together, we'll, we'll build quite a database. Uh, and as you also have heard, it's a national database. It's not just Plymouth County or Constable County. Uh, there are jurisdictions all over the country that are using this system. And with crime being so transient in this day and age, it's nice to know that if you encounter somebody you've never seen before that perhaps came from California or Florida or Texas, you might be able to scan them in. And if they're in the system, find out that this is a wanted person or somebody with a very dangerous background. This is the Child Project. And what I've already enrolled myself just for the sake of time. I put in all those fields that are up there that you see read. Um, those are required. And um, for Senior Safety Net, either one, there's two separate databases. One is the Child Project, one is the Senior Safety Net database. It, they're not mixed. But she's going to search, click on Search by Iris. I'll go, to go back a little bit. And then it'll take a picture, and there it is. It just did it, and then it can show right up there. As you can see, it took her iris and matched her up with her. And there you in go. In a matter of seconds. In a matter of seconds, it has all the information that she had previously put in there. I didn't have to touch anything. The deputy didn't have to touch me. There were no fingerprints, no rolling. Um, you know, I didn't have to do show her any tokens, a driver's license, anything that could be counterfeited or stolen. I didn't have to tell her a password, a PIN. I simply had to look into the camera. I could have told her my name was Lucy, and my information that I had inputted earlier would have come up. Now, and right now we have this on both eyes, but we could do it on right or left eyes, and if they have a fake eye, it'll, it'll knock that out because it will not have an active virus. Exactly. Now, if you want to go to the yep. first page slide. 